Hello and blessings beautiful souls, Avalon here and I have a Witch's Moon box to unbox for you today. This is the Witch's Moon for the month of March. It was waiting for me at the post office when I got back from Brisbane. Can I just say one more time how excited and delighted I am that my little nephew Charlie was born. I got to snuggle, snuggle, snuggle him. I got to be there at the hospital to meet him. I'm one of the first people that actually met him. And so I was able to be a great support to my sister. So I took that week off and I'm catching up on all my works now. And one of the things that I was delighted to do is unbox a witch's moon because I love the witch's moon as much as I do. They are literally that saving grace in the month for me. Something to really look forward to. Something that tells me that the universe legitimately loves me. <laughs> so here we go. Here is the inside of the box. It has a really beautiful color palette, so I'm quite excited to see what the theme might be. So I'm going to hook in and have a good look at the theme. <gasps> ancient Council. The theme is Ancient Council. Let us go through it. Our lives are filled with experiences that are beyond our control. Isn't that the truth? When these experiences impact our world, we step back to understand the purpose behind it all. I most certainly do. Yes, I do step back and like to understand it all. We truly embrace the potent strength of accountability, responsibility, taking these experiences into our own hands so that we may grow and become bigger than ourselves. Mm -hmm. We do not wait for experiences to happen to us, but are prepared to take action to create the results that are channeled through our higher selves. Right? 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 We pay great respects while asking for ancient counsel from our guides so that they may show us signs and synchronicities that may guide us into victorious territory. I shan't read any more. There is a lot here. We've got some beautiful, here is the actual letter itself. Beautiful font type. And then we have, ooh, we have got quite a few things. We have the Witch's Pentacle Candle Holder. Mm -hmm. Exciting, Elder Futhark Runes. Ooh, <laughs> we've got an entire rune set. How incredible is that, guys? An entire rune set. And there has been a box before, which was the divination box, that had an entire tarot deck in there. And we've had, we've had a cauldron in there, we've had chalices in there, and we've had incredible creations from the Witch's Moon. So let's just take a moment to really thank them for the effort that they put into creating such a voluptuous, high-end Witch's subscription service. So really impressed and highly recommend them. There is also a Magic of Merlin candle pair. Oh my god, Magic of Merlin. Those who know me know how excited I am to be able to say the word Merlin. I'm a bit fascinated with his mythology, guys. Javisir Sigil, not pronouncing that right at all. So let's just pretend I did that justice when I didn't. Speak to me, magical oil. I can't wait to smell that. Spirit calling, sacred salt, red moss agate. Yay! Hollywood, Paulo Santo. Our guided visions, herbal tea. Yay! Purple herb. Dominia Leaf, or Damiana, however you like to pronounce it. We like to bastardise words here in Australian <laughs> English. Uh, we have Sandalwood Incense, Personalised Oracle Reading, Parchment Paper, Rune Book of Shadows Artwork. Very exciting. So quite a bit, quite a bit. I do love their little paper that they give. I find myself using it more than I actually thought that I would. So, uh, there's more here. Magic of Merlin. Interesting. There's this, there's this beautiful sigil. It's so beautifully done. It's on very good stock. Look at that. Oh, you are going into my magic book. Yes, you are. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. And then we have, from the Wisdom of Teo, very uniquely flimsy cardstock, actually. 
weird. Anyway, <laughs> it just feels so weird. I don't know what it is about it. <laughs> Those who have unboxed the, the moon box, did you feel that this, this cardstock was like the weirdest cardstock ever? <laughs> All right, this is Zhang Zhang Fen. You can solve any problem naturally and effortlessly. Proceed with courage and intelligence. If only I had intelligence. <laughs> if only I had those qualities. <laughs> like really, really had them. Let soft conquer hard. I don't know about that. I have a tendency to war over cry. I was just talking about that this morning. Do not fight the powers that can destroy you. Ride with these opposing forces until the right moment to act. Sounds like a timing thing. That's my second. That's a synchronicity. That is a synchronicity. Thank you, Witch's Moon, for this synchronicity because I have just, you know what, I'm not getting into it. Synchronicity. Holy moly. The sky behind this camera is like dark, dark grey, like foreboding storm dark grey with a misty edge to it. Oh, we have a Magic of Merlin and this here is within the hands of ancient light the candles. Oh, it's an incantation. It's an incantation. I shan't share that one. It seems a little personal. Let's have a look at the artwork. I'm facing a window so I do apologize for the glare. So there is the artwork. Ooh, very nice. We have Odin off to the side there. <gasps> yes, you are going to take pride of place somewhere. I can just feel it. The inside color wrapping today is this lovely wine sort of burgundy I would say. This is the biggest item in here so I'm going to start with it first. Oh that's beautiful. Look at that. Just look at that. That is so beautiful. It would fit a, it would fit a pillar I would say. I have a very, look at how hot it gets in here. That's how hot it gets that my candles melt. Let's just rectify that. Yeah, so it would fit a pillar. Beautiful! I like that. I like that a lot. This is going to have to go on my altar for autumn. Yes. This beautiful salt, look at that. That's trippy, isn't it? And here is the content. It's just so rich. Let's see how it smells. Really minty, very therapeutic. I actually really like that. And this is probably one of the first times that I felt genuinely sad that I don't have a bath. I'm going to soak my feet. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that smells really, really lovely. It smells so nurturing. Like light and minty but with this real sort of like warm hug to it. And I think that that's very nurturing. We have the Demiana leaf. So this is the Demiana. And there you have the Demiana. Here you have the Pawpaw herb. And then we have the Guided Visions Cinnamon, or Crimson. Crimson, yes, Guided Visions Tea. I love the color of this packet. Look, look at that. That's nice. Piece of Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo. I can never get enough. Little baggie for the tea. So each and every time they provide a tea in their boxes, they give you a little muslin bag that you can utilize to steep your tea because it's generally tea leaves that we're working with. 
something in here. Let's have a look. It feels heavy enough. I feel it's the crystal. It's well wrapped. I'm ASMRing myself. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. It's a very decent piece. It's a bit yoni ish shaped. <laughs> let me just, let me just drink it in. Mm. Ooh, ancient civilization. That's what I got. Ancient civilization. I wonder where this was mined. Like a really rocky area, but buildings in amongst the rocks. Ancient civilization. Beautiful adornments. Oh, what a vision. What a vision. What a vision. What did you guys see when you held yours? What did you see? Stone, stone, like really strong, powerful, mountainous earth stone. No greenery, just this stone rockiness to it. Love it. That's solidity. That's like power, strength, and solidity to it. I like that. I just want to, I, I kind of want to snuggle with it. Do you snuggle with your crystals? I love crystals. I snuggle with my crystals. I'm like, I'm adorned with crystals. I have. The Witch's Bounty dangling off my neck. I have my tourmaline. I have crystals all over me. All over me. Yes, and it all comes in such lovely little baggies like this. Like a beautiful little velveteen type of bag. I think that's a really nice touch, don't you? Let's get to the oil. Hands down, one of my favourite parts is the sniff test of the magical oil. Ooh, I like this bottle. It's the same type of bottle and I have it right here as the come to me oil, which I'm running out of very slowly. Still one of the nicest oils ever. And here you have it. Look at that. To me speak to me indeed I wonder how this smells in comparison to the spirit guide oil or that's right I'm looking at a lot of their oils on my, it's on my altar at the moment so oh can you hear that rain it's just started pouring down rain ah, so exciting Let's have a little sniff test bracing myself for it Oh, minty. Mentholy. Fresh, crisp. It's a good one. It's a good one. It, how does it smell? Yeah. They're quite fresh. They're quite fresh oils of late, I've found. The Come To Me oil is hands down my favorite because of the scent. It's this really sweet feminine scent. All right, so we have the incense. Ooh! It's got quite a manly aftershave scent to it. I wonder how that smells after you've burnt it. So this is the candle pair. These are beautiful. Look at that. I'll bring that nice and close so that you can actually see the level of gorgeous detail there. And they are tapered, so they're rolled much differently to the way that they're usually rolled. I'll show you an example. This is one of their other or more standard style of candles so as you can see these are quite different 
So, so there is an intention and a purpose for these to be used. They're kind of like they've got a reach. They've, they've got this feeling of like reaching out to spirit, just for the way that they spiral. Just, it's a beautiful thing. I love the little dusting of herb and glitter that is on there. Really nice touch. And then last is the runes. The ruins. As one of my favourite rune YouTubers, uh, Sega Manning is my favourite rune YouTuber, and she has a beautiful Scandinavian accent. Just the ruins. I like it. Okay, nice little velvet bag. Let's have a look. Oh, sweet! There are like little rings. There you have it. Awkwardly holding my hand in the weirdest of positions so they don't come tumbling out. But like really, really lovely. There we go. Nice little wheel thing there. Oh, they're so nice and woody. Look at the back of that one. It's got a little ring to it. And, oh, so nice. Now let me see what type of wood was used. I'll just go through the notes and have a bit of a look. It is poplar wood, known for its qualities of abundance, independence, and resilience. Very cool, very cool. Yay! Well, that is this month's Witch's Moon subscription box. I have absolutely loved it. It's ancient council, the theme. I find that every item really aligned well. You could do yourself a really tasty ritual. We do have a blue moon coming up and so I'm sure many who have subscribed to this particular box will be grabbing those little goodies in time for the blue moon because let's face it, who doesn't like ritual when the moon is full and blue? It's just so wonderful. So I've absolutely love this box. I love this candle holder and because it is the equinox today, I, autumn equinox for us here in the southern hemisphere, I shall be rejigging my sacred space and I've got some things in store. Yes I do, yes, yes I do. I have some things in store and this little baby might actually have to come out to play. Well, that is it, folks. Another gorgeous Witch's Moon subscription box in the bag for the month of March. Ancient Council was the theme, and it was an absolute joy to unbox today because today is the autumn equinox for me and us here in the Southern Hemisphere. So I would just like to send a heartfelt thank you to the Witch's Moon for always gifting these beautiful goodies to me and also to say a really beautiful, happy, blessed prosperous equinox no matter what side of the hemisphere you are on I sincerely hope that you are surrounded by magic that you are in touch with healing that you are supported that you are loved for being just who you are just where you are with all of this said and done wishing you so much love luck peace and joy look after yourselves bye